Well, after the travesty of committing fictional character murder in the last late night Tumblr post, I figured it'd be nice to uh, jump to a different subject. So how about we do some fun facts with Discord, okay? Okay, all of Santa's reindeer are female. Male reindeer shed their antlers at the end of the mating season, late November, late December, but females keep their antlers. So Santa's sleigh has always been pulled by female reindeer. Either Santa just gave them names and didn't really care about the gender, or something, I don't know. I mean, technically, all of them sound pretty neutral. There are two galaxies named after manga and anime characters. One of the galaxies is named Akira, was discovered by a young astronomer named Edmund Chuang, who is a fan of anime, as you could guess. The galaxy Akira has a companion conveniently named Tetsuo, after a character from the same series. Also another galaxy named by Edmund. Do you think the two galaxies just yell their names at each other every time you pass by them? There is historical evidence to suggest that many of the lore around Santa Claus are actually adopted by Legends of Odin. Odin has many titles, including Yule Father, literally Father Christmas. His steed is an eight-legged horse named Slipner, eight reindeer, that pulls his chariot, and he has two ravens that sit on his shoulders that tell him the virtuous and villainous deeds of men. He who knows who is naughty and nice. Okay, as much as I love the big jolly red version of Santa, I would gladly give money to see Odin as Santa again, please. I beg you. This one's more of a shout out to my Discord because I saw it. In the past week, there has been around 80 facts posted on here and Seymour makes a video of around 10 every six to eight days, which gives someone a 12.5% chance of being in a video. You spell my name wrong. I mean, it's literally right there in the channel title, but whatever. If there were a new fact posted every two minutes, then there would be 5,040 facts a week which would give someone less than 0.2% chance of being in a video. I feel like I'm fueling the fire by mentioning this, but whatevs. Ketchup comes from Southern China, originally a fermented fish paste named translating to fish sauce. And the word is still used today in China for fish sauce. I believe there were also different flavors of this fish sauce in China. Back in Pokemon Generation 1, Psychic, instead of being weak to Ghost, was immune to it. Now granted, the only damaging moves back then was Lick and Nightshade, and with Lick being so weak of attack, and Nightshade doing damage based on the user level, it wouldn't have mattered much. But that does mean that Psychic's only weakness in Generation 1 was Bug. But with the best moves having such low attack power and being multi-hit moves, they weren't going to be very effective either. Just two of the reasons why Psychic was overpowered in Generation 1. I'm gonna go out here and say it's not necessarily true. I remember Lick working on Psychic type things. The issue is all the ghost Pokemon in Generation 1 were also dual type with poison, which means Psychic could mess with them every single day. Also, Amnesia in Generation 1, broken as fuck. When buying old Nintendo DS cartridges, one way to check if they're authentic is to look at the licensed buy mark on the sticker closely. Bootleg copies often have a misspelling. The first E in license will turn out to be actually an F. Good to know. Ice Climber is the only major series in all of Super Smash Bros. to have only one game in the series, quotations. Duck on Duo would follow this trend only if Hogan's Alley and Wild Gunmen weren't represented in the moveset. So it's more like they were just the gun character. I don't know. The reason the USA and Europe have different tastes when it comes to grape flavoring is because of the grapes used in these regions. Europe uses the Black Huron, whereas the USA uses the Concorde. This is because for a time, the USA outlawed the glowing of Black Huron because it caused a disease in white pine trees called blister rust and was threatening to kill off the species and harm the lumber industry. Black Huron is actually on the rebound now because blister rust only affects white pines and its ban is being lifted in states where white pine is not present. I actually had no idea Black Huron was a grape. That's... That's cool. So for the first time in Fun Facts with Discord history, an amendment, a correction of a fun fact. Generally because this one was really fascinating. Pygmalion made his statue of a woman named Galatea because he was admired by the beauty of the female figure. He didn't like women who talked or had sex red flag. He made a statue because no woman could meet his standards. He went on dates with the statue and dressed her in fancy clothing. The only reason he wished her to life at the festival of Aphrodite was because as a statue, Galatea could not love him back. Huh. And finally, the M&M stands for Mars and Murray. 
This is because Forrest Mars, son of the Mars Company founder, first spotted the British confection Smarties during the Spanish Civil War and noticed that candy shell prevented the chocolate from melting. He teamed up with Bruce Murray, son of Hershey's chocolate president, and the company later trademarked the melts in your mouth, not in your hand slogan. That has bugged me for years. I had no idea that the name was that simple, and now it makes so much sense. Oh, excuse me. I'm gonna go eat some M&M's. Bye.